Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Basic Investment Terms. Today we're going to be talking about market capitalization. Now market capitalization, which is also known as market cap, uh, you've probably seen that thrown around quite a bit during your readings. Uh, it's a metric used to estimate the overall size of a company based on its value. Now this is an estimation that is based on uh, taking the outstanding shares, now the number of outstanding shares, which is basically every single share that is owned by someone, and this is a metric that is uh, very, very accessible on any single platform. You just have to Google it and it'll pop up right away, usually very close to the price per share uh, when you're looking at a company's uh, a profile. So you take the outstanding number of shares and you multiply it by the price per share. Now this is going to give you an overall value, it's going to give you an overall estimate and using that you can sort of stratify the companies based on their estimated size. For example, you have the large cap companies. Large cap companies usually have a market cap of over 10 billion dollars. Okay, now these are the big dogs. These are the, the, the all-star stocks. Okay, companies that are very well established and have a dominant position within a certain market or a certain niche uh, population, okay? Such as uh, Google, Amazon, you know, Apple, IBM, just to name a few. Anything you can think of, you know, Ford, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, guys, companies that are very, very well established within a certain industry. Um, and there's a certain advantage to investing in such companies uh, because they give you a lower risk that is associated with uh, with investing in these companies because just like I said they're very well established they're not looking for their niche product or they're not looking for their target audience they already have all that and they're just cruising along the waves and they usually give investors uh, a very significant return either based on dividends in the long term or uh, you know value increases in the long term now, just under large cap, you have mid cap companies. These companies have a market cap of in between two and ten billion dollars. Okay, these are a little bit smaller companies, either looking for their niche uh, population or looking for their uh, their blockbuster product, or still trying to figure out what their place is in a certain industry. And they're usually associated with a higher competitive, uh, higher competitivity in the in that certain market. So they're still sort of fighting and and tugging along just to see where they fit in exactly. Uh, they're usually known as companies that are either, like I said, fighting for their spot within an industry or are just younger companies and they're still growing. So investors usually associated, associate mid-cap companies with higher room for growth over the long term, okay? But you have to take into account the larger risk that is associated with uh, these companies. Now, accordingly so, even smaller than that, you have small cap companies, and these are companies that have a market cap of in between $300 million and $2 billion. Again, higher risk, higher volatility, uh, and you know, companies that are still fighting to, to see where they fit in exactly within a certain industry, or are just very, very young companies. All right? Now, you have even smaller than that. You have micro cap and nano cap. Microcap are companies that have market caps of in between 50 million and 300 million, and nanocap are companies that have market caps underneath 50 million. Now, 50 million for a company is a very, very, very small number, guys. Just imagine if you have 100 million shares outstanding, and every single share is worth 50 cents, then your company would be worth 50 million dollars. But 50 cents a share, guys, that qualifies as a penny stock because anything under $5 or depending on where you live and what uh, what criteria you base yourself on, that's qual that's qualified as a, uh, a penny stock. Now, micro cap and nano cap companies are usually penny stocks and we all know the higher risk, the higher volatility that's associated with penny stocks uh, and, you know, the intrinsic risk. But some of you might say, with that risk can come very big rewards. Okay, you can have a, a tenfold or hundredfold increase in price on a very short term. So, again, you have to weigh the uh, the risks and the benefits of investing into a different uh, market cap company. Okay, so large cap, mid cap, small cap. These are usually very uh, you know mainstream companies, relatively well established, especially for the large cap. A little less for the mid cap and and even less for the small cap and then micro cap and nano cap 
that's usually penny stock territory. I usually stay away from that. Uh, but again, up to you guys according to your risk tolerance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And for those of you who have Twitter, you can follow me on my Twitter and you'll be notified as soon as a new video comes out. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Have a good one. Thanks. Thank you.